Hi, in this uh, short video we'll be taking you through um, the simple process of um, applying a MailMark barcode and exporting that barcode for use in uh, alternative software such as uh, GMC Inspire or XMPy. So the first thing to do having downloaded your data file is to run it through the path module to append the delivery point suffix. Okay. So we don't need to do any address enhancement at all, or indeed any postcode enhancement. We literally just have to run it through the path module. Um, and this will append the DPS code and generate the uh, CBC customer barcode for use in MailMark. Um, as the module runs through, you can see where it's appending successfully a DPS and CBC. This indicates that that record is a full match against the path database. Uh, where it hasn't managed to append, then either it's a, um, an address that doesn't exist on path, or the address is in uh, a poor quality so we can't find a match, uh, or indeed it might be an overseas address. So that's almost finished, um, and that should give us, uh, at the moment we've got 95% uh, DPS match, and that has finished now, and the result is that we've got 95.27% DPS uh, or full match against uh, the path database so that's uh, that's good enough for a mail mark so close that having run that process we now need to run the mail sort so select Royal Mail sort and in here choose the options the letter uh, or the type rather whether it's letter large letter etc uh, what the carrier is we'll stick to Royal Mail uh, the type of mail business advertising etc sustainability uh, and of course the the service which is low mail mark and the weight of the item so let's make that um, I don't know, 52 grams okay because you've selected mail mark you need to add in a supply chain ID uh, and if you've got preset supply chain IDs then you would click that button and select it from the list here uh, or if you haven't you can type it in and then add it to the uh, list of supply chain IDs so let's uh, select one, let's go with uh, 8,190 and that then completes the rest of the information relevant for that barcode, uh, sorry that uh, supply chain ID uh, which is the owner, the payer and the producer and of course the carrier is Royal Mail as previously selected. So save and run that. Okay and that's finished, check our results, so it's qualified, that's good. So we can close that down. Now if we go into the qualified data and right mouse click in the window and select the mail mark, dollar mail marks times four, which will show us the three 2D format barcodes and the four state. You can then see that it's appended those barcodes just there. Now there are three types of 2D barcode and the client will decide on which one of those they wish to use. Uh, each one has a different amount of space available for additional client information. Uh, type 7 provides you with 6 characters, Type 9 provides you with 45 characters and 29 with 25 characters. Uh, and obviously the amount of information held within the barcode uh, will dictate the size of that when you come to print it. Okay, so let's close that down. Now you could output that uh, as generated during the sort module but you might want to add in additional client information to the barcode string and to do that there is a USP module which is called MailMark Extra. So going to MailMark Extra um, the text here is, is very very helpful uh, takes you through all the types of barcode and what fields you can add uh, and which ones you, um, and how you add them to which barcode etc. So what we'll do here is we will add couple of client fields now if we flip back to the data to save that there go back to the data you'll see that on the client supply fields we have a cell code and an account number both of which can be added to our barcode string if we wish so we'll add here cell code plus account number And we're going to add it to barcode 29. Okay, so you use the setting add to 29, and that will then add it just to barcode 29. 
So we'll run that. Close that window and have a quick check of the data. And again, fields, our mail mark barcode strings. And we can see that in type 29, we now have cell A and the account number AC802223 for that particular record. And obviously that varies as you flick through the file. Okay, now we need to export our data, including the 2D barcode, so you can take it into your document composition software. So right mouse click, go to export, give it the file name you want, so mm check for example, and the format, and then you decide which fields. It might be that you're exporting the client supplied fields, so we'll select those, so address line 1 down to address line 7, our account number and our cell code. And from the S button for sort related fields, we can choose the 2D barcode. So append that field, drop the list down and append barcode, or mail mark rather, 2D29. Of course you might want to add uh, additional fields such as sequence numbers etc, but for now we'll just add our 2D barcode. Run that export, close our export module, and if we double click on the export icon, that will open it so we can have a look at the data. And let's highlight everything and expand our fields. If we go along to our barcode field, you can there see we've got our 2D barcode, which you can then take into your document composition software to print on your mail piece. Okay, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call on 07899 910 or email me at mark.dobson at thesoftwarebureau.com. Many thanks indeed.